Yo, what's good? Let's check out Tensura. Logo reveal. Now, you already know the YouTuber things, but if you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshest. Links in the description below. Now, you already know the YouTuber things, but if you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshest. Links in the description below. And if you want to check out any of my other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to the playlist with all of those. And as always, Links in the description. Though I don't just do reactions for this series, I do reactions for tons of others. If you wanna check those out, come to the channel, click on the playlists, and I'm sure you'll find something in there that you will enjoy. Previously on Tensuro, we saw Baldora's introduction to everybody. We saw the meeting. They had like a meeting about what the next steps are. And during the meeting, we had a few people come along and like introduce themselves. And uh, it, it concluded the episode with just like meeting a couple familiar faces, some new faces, and they're, they're, they're trying to discuss Discuss what the next steps are. <laughs> what I want to see is Veldora meeting the new people that showed up. Uh, in the first episode, we saw the representative from Bloomend. Uh, we saw the king of Darv, which is the, the king of like the dwarves. We saw the king, or not king, but like somebody, like a royal, royal something. I don't know. He's like someone important with the elves as well. So we saw all of those people show up and I really want to see how they react to Veldora showing up. I'm sure Rimuru is going to introduce him and they're just going to be like, what? <laughs> but anyways, let's go and check out the uh, second and third episodes for the second part of the second season of that time I got reincarnated as a slime, also known as Tensura. Eerie, uh, church on a, yeah, church on a mountain, sort of, uh, like, oh my god, kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> Not even a lie, dude. That <laughs> kind of scared me. Wait, they said he's a vampire? I should probably go by episode. So this is 38 and we're going to see 39. Okay. That'd be a smarter way to intro videos. I wonder who this is. I definitely have no clue at all. Oh my gosh, wow, I didn't expect, okay, so I already knew that this was gonna happen and that's because I had a, I, I was on like a podcast once talking about Tensura and I sort of had, yeah, you ever like have a situation where somebody doesn't like spoil something for you, but they sort of like hold your hand and like lead you to the the stuff, right? Uh, we were talking about, like I, I pretty much said like, yo, I don't think that Clayman is like the actual bad guy. There's somebody above him. He just, it, he the fact that he's not a true demon lord, he wants to become a true demon lord and that Rimuru will become a true demon lord because this was like before that, or maybe it was as he was becoming a true demon lord. I don't know. But the fact that all of that was true, I was like, okay, so that means Rimuru is going to be more powerful than Clayman. So it's got to be somebody above him, right? And so I, I like casually mentioned that. And then they were like, oh, it's funny that you bring that up because when you find out who is really in power like in charge of everything man you are just going to like you're gonna be so like astonished or something along those lines right and we already know or we already knew that it was somebody who knew about the fact that uh, Rimuru like consumed Shizue. We knew that because that's what Hinata mentions, that like she was told about that. That's how she found out. That's why she is attacking Rimuru. Who knows that information? Not a lot of people. And one of those people is this guy. And so when we were talking about like who knows that information, like and when they said like, yo, you're going to be like so surprised when you find out who it was instantly. That's who I thought of. That guy right there. I was like, oh, shit. It's the one guy. I didn't say who it was because I didn't want to, like, spoil for anybody. But, like, I knew off rip with, with the hand holding. I knew who it was. So this is, it should be something surprising. And I am I should probably give, like, a, oh, my God, reaction. But, like, yeah, I, I kind of already saw it coming just because of that. So this is just, like, a brief PSA. Be careful what you say to people. Some people might realize things very easily with something you say. Some people might have a harder time realizing it. So just be careful because you might spoil something for somebody accidentally. No way. <laughs> Wait, he has souls inside of him? This is the dude that used to be in charge of his group? Damn, that dude got hot. <laughs> Yo, slap the shit out of him. You're going to be so disrespectful, man. <laughs> yeah, like food on his fucking lip. 
And that's where this fucking vampire, right? Yeah, some vampire. Oh, cool. Demon Lord Valentine. Oh, shit. Sheesh. I wonder who's stronger, Diablo or one of them? Walpurgis. Okay, so requirement of three votes to move forward in a proposal is a remnant of the time when there were seven demon lords. Speaking of the primordials, hmm, I wonder if we know any of them. Hmm. Wait, so this is like a new element added. First we, okay, so we've got the Rimuru people, right? We got these different kingdoms, they're like non-affiliated, whatever, or they could be affiliated, we don't know. Then we've got this guy, the president, who reads the mangas and is like actually the bad guy uh, opposing Rimuru. But then there's also this new element that's just added with Valentine, who is protecting some sort of temple, demon lord stuff going on there. I don't know what's going on there, but there might actually be like a third party in play here. Hmm. I love how, it, like, there's he's saying demon lord for all these people. Not Clayman, though. <laughs> he's like, Clayman. And then these demon lords. Melim. Oh. Walpurgis. They're going to have a Walpurgis. The squishy one. <laughs> I like that nickname. I, I like it better for, for Rimuru. Call him the squishy one. Diavolo. Yes, we know of you. Hmm. Wait until Veldora shows up. We need to introduce Veldora to you. Who? <laughs> this man, this man's sweating. He's like, oh my god, there's so many fucking important people here. <laughs> and you, my boy. Look at him. They'll stop being foul mouths. They're gonna be just foul mouth. Still foul mouths right now. Look who it is, our boy. What up? It's your boy. <laughs> I love his personality, dude. This man is an anime character through and through. That's a nice outfit, too. You think I could pull off brown pants? I don't know if I could. Like a nice, like, darker khaki, maybe. <laughs> this is Veldora. <laughs> <laughs> They're all going to be shit in their pants now. Uh, who? <laughs> they gotta talk about this. Like, uh, bro, what do you mean? So you're friends with Milam. You're friends with fucking Carrion. You're friends with Veldora? What? What aren't you telling us now? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Praise. What do you mean? Listen, dude. They're they're looking at it now. Like, okay, so we can join this church. <clears throat> be on their side, right? Or we can be on the side of a true demon lord who's friends with demon lords and friends with the storm dragon Veldora. Oh, such a tough decision. Mmm. I knew it. Mmm. Again, teaching him how to be a proper king. Man, this man's learning about being a fucking commander and leader constantly. That's great. I love it. It in chan. <laughs> yeah, so it's his daughter, that's why. Okay. True. Oh. It's obviously not necessary. We friends. Yay, friendship. Friendship prevails. <laughs> He's always trying to one up him. Man, where are you going to find those bodies, bro? They were all, like, taking up 
for the sacrifice. Exactly. <laughs> like that's no one will even even know, dude. There's literally nobody alive from it. Oh, except for the king. Uh, I want to see Yoon become the the king. When is that gonna happen? Hopefully, it's next episode, man. Back to the meeting. Let's go. I wonder if everybody, everybody's just like everybody was just sitting there the entire time. <laughs> Maybe, dude. Look at this dude. He's still passed the fuck out. He's like Veldora. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you reading, bro? What is that? I don't know what that's trying to mimic. Do uh, we got any, like, very obvious ones that they're trying to mimic here? I don't think so. <laughs> I can't wait for them to fight again. It's going to be so dope. She only won because of her barrier, bro. No shot she would have won without the barrier. And now our boy's a true demon lord. No shot she takes the dub. No shot. She was tricked. She was bamboozled. She was fooled. <laughs> Little Ranga. <laughs> you look so cute. Yes, sir. Bro, do you know who you're talking to? Come on. A weakling. Shion. Oh, my God, Shion. You don't even know who you're talking to. This is the primordial demon, Diablo. Okay? That's, that's not some shit that you could take on. Okay? Bro, how are you any stronger? But, bro, you ain't as strong as him. Dang. Uh, yes. <laughs> Look at Veldora. He was about to jump in. <laughs> Veldora's about to be like, what about me? I'm the strongest. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's sweating. Aw, he just wants to say how powerful he is. Hee <laughs> look at him. I love Veldora, man. Easily new favorite. But he is sitting next to one of my other favorites, Kudo Bay, my dog. Got a, a newfound love for Kudo Bay and Geld when I when I saw Slime Diaries. Um, I think previously my favorite might have been Hakuro. He's pretty fucking dope. But now we got Veldora, so <sighs> I don't give a fuck, man. Veldora is just, just great. Look at him. Look at him with his little, mm, I'm shit. Love it. Ah, is this where he's going to find out who it was? Someone sold me out. Okay. There he is. That's the one. She. Now let the meeting finally commence, bro. They were going to start it at the end of the first episode. We went through a whole set. Oh, look, it's the little fairy. Ram, 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 Ram Nani! <laughs> Alright, so real quick, let's talk about the episode and then let's jump into uh, whatever's going on in the next episode. This one, we found out who the main bad guy is. And like I said, I sort of already knew that information, which kind of sucks, but I went over that already. Uh, so we found out who he is and he's brought back like a demon lord or something along those lines and basically reformed the group of... the. Uh, Harlequin group or whatever. They found out that there's this vampire demon lord guy who is hiding something that's got to be like a third party. That's like another group in this whole thing. The meeting is about to start with with the King of Darv, as well as a representative from the elves. They are both there uh, and a representative from Blumen. And then you've got the new King of Falmuth uh, eventually in Yum. So they've got like everybody. They got Carrion's people. They got like everybody there. And so they're all here. They're about to start the meeting. Veldora shows up. He's like, what's up? I'm Veldora. And everybody's like, Veldora? And so then Rimuru had to have a separate meeting beforehand with the king of uh, the dwarves as well as the representative from the elves. They all have this meeting. They all come to like a, an agreement and like discuss how they're going to handle everything. Becoming a demon lord, opposing the holy western church, whatever. Just a bunch of stuff. They go over all that. And then they're about to start the meeting. Well, basically Rimuru figures out that Hinata was played. And who was she played by other than the principal of the school? Like where all the other world kids are and stuff played by that dude so he figures out at the end of this episode who the main villain is we also see R R ramirez or whatever the 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 one like pixie spirit i'm gonna get that wrong y'all are gonna flame me in the comments go ahead whatever who cares she shows up lands on the thing and she's like oh gosh 
Uh, oh gosh, Rick. I don't, I don't know why I said it like that. It was very, very weird. Um, uh, she shows up and she's like, yo, Tempest, y'all are about to get destroyed. End of the episode. So now let's move into the next one. Damn, Savage Diablo. Yo, I think that, I don't think that everyone understands how powerful Diablo is. I don't think people understand. I think that eventually they're gonna figure out just how fucking strong this guy is. And when they do, they're gonna be like, oh, I'm so glad he's on our team. Cause I just, I just don't think people really get it. Just how powerful he is. Just kind of dope. <laughs> is, at this point, is it even surprising? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know. Dude, he's about to like eat her ass. Not eat her ass, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I wonder if he even like recognizes her. <laughs> Could you imagine? The disrespect. Finally, the meeting might actually start. Nah, dude. Something else is gonna happen. Stop. Who the fuck is this demon back here? Am I the only one that sees this? What the hell is that? Up in the corner. By, by Benny Maru. What is this creature? I have never seen this person before in my life. What the fuck is that? Please tell me somebody addresses who that is. I swear to God, I've never seen that person before. That is scary. <laughs> No, I'd shit my pants, probably. Can we still find out who this fucking creature is? <laughs> he was just calling you strong, bro. Uh-oh. My dog. Are we ever going to find out who this scary-ass entity near Veldora and Benny Maru is? I've never seen that person before in my life. Yeah, dude, that's a homie. Let's go, Yum. <laughs> he looks to the king. <laughs> I love how he makes the real decisions. Everybody else just follows. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh. I will watch over the idiot as well. <laughs> okay, can you guys stop, please? Let's go, dude. Be of use, you. Let's go, bro. I want to see him take on and like become the king in in uh, Falmouth. <laughs> My man's KO'd. Wait the fuck up, man. Are we ever gonna find who this creature is? Veldora. Oh, okay. Disrespect. Don't spill the beans. Oh, dun dun dun. Hmm. It's like, who are you calling a small nation? Let's go, dude. Now, what's yours? <laughs> I don't know who the king is. Got him. More questions. This whole episode is going to be talking, bro. I'm about to go to sleep, man. When's stuff going to happen, bro? <laughs> What's the question, man? Ask away. I'm going to protect my friends. Want to create a world that's comfortable to live in the way I like it. Yeah. Protect my friends. I'm a demon lord that helps people. <laughs> yeah, let's go. At this point, I was looking for anything. I was latching on to any sort of possibility because I was going crazy trying to figure out who the fuck this character is. What is this creature, bro? How is nobody addressing this weird ass thing in the corner? Is it real? Is it like a scarecrow? I don't understand. Hey, everybody claps. Cool. Let's go. Ain't nobody afraid to claim, man. Who gives a fuck? Exactly. Quality over quantity. 
Bro, I'm gonna need somebody to, to say something in the comments. Whatever that weird fucking bald creature with like the long hair dressed in black. I'm gonna need y'all to tell me what the hell that was that I saw. Because I do not know. Every time I hear his voice, I just think of fucking uh, Rosewall in um, ReZero. Oh, you don't even know. Aw. Ooh. And the one I am indebted to. Who the fuck is that? That's another level up. That's uh, okay. So it's more than just the the one principal dude with the with the manga. It's like there's somebody else. The one that uh, Clayman is indebted to. You're. You're. That's kind of cool. Are you mad or not? Nah? Ooh. Ooh. Well, I guess he's mad or something. Uh, let's talk about the episode a little bit. Okay, so this one, it just picks up where the last one left off. They actually finally get into the meeting. They introduce Yume as the new king of Falmouth, or at least they bring up the plan to make him the new king of Falmouth. And everybody goes to the motions there. They're talking about it. They discuss it. Um, he says that he's prepared to do it. He's doing it for the woman that he loves, Muran as well as uh, like uh, uh, because it has been entrusted to him by Rimuru. And so he's taken on that position and everybody's like, all right, man, cool. Uh, then we have the dude from Bloomend talking about his position, where his company stands with every, not company, but his country stands with Tempest, etc. how they feel. Uh, he gets questioned. He's like, yes, dude, we all fuck with Rimuru, even though initially maybe we didn't. We all do now because we're a small country. And if we get like wiped out, like it's easy to wipe us out in comparison to wiping out all the elves or wiping out uh, the king of Darv, you know? But yeah, he goes through all that. And then we see the representative of the elves. He's like, what are you planning on doing? And then Rimu is like, oh, what am I planning on doing? Like as a demon lord, bro, I'm going to make the world a better place. Like my goal is to make my friends happy, make everybody happy. Everybody's going to live a peaceful life. Everyone's going to leave, live a good life. That's my goal. Rimu doesn't have a, a an ounce of like animosity. Well, he does have some animosity towards some people, but he doesn't have like any malicious plans when it comes to what he wants to do. The people that have wronged him, he wants to take them down a notch. That's it. Everybody else, the people that have not wronged him are either his friends or people that could potentially be friends. So Rimuru tends to have a very positive outlook when it comes to relationships with other people. I like when uh, Ramiris, R Ramiris, I don't know what to call her, man. She shows up, little demon lord, fairy, whatever. And she's like, oh, Veldora, Psh, man, I ain't afraid no Veldora, blah, blah, blah. She's like talking mad shit. And then Rimuru brings her, sets her in front of Veldora and she passes the fuck out because she realizes, oh, that is Veldora. <laughs> Found that pretty funny. Uh, we see Clayman at the end. He has his conversation with the one uh, Harlequin dude and yeah. Uh, that's essentially the end of the episode all wrapped up there. So from here, I'm really interested in seeing where it all goes. Um, is there another person that is influencing what Clayman does? Is it just that that the, the president, whatever they've been calling him, the, the 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 dude that's in charge of the school uh, that reads the manga? Is it just him and this benefactor who was unnamed by Clayman? Is it just those two? Is there somebody else that is influencing what he does? It's quite possible. We just don't know. Um, but that's more or less what I forgot his name. The the one clown dude. Fuck, I was so bad with names. It's more or less what he was getting at, and Clayman was pretty upset by it because he doesn't think he's being controlled by somebody. But ah, uh, well, you know. <sighs> So from here, I want to know what you all thought of this episode. If there was something maybe I didn't notice that I should have picked up on, leave a comment down below about that. But of course, if you have something to say that would contain a spoiler, use a spoiler tag. And what I mean by that is in a very brief sentence in quotes, address what you'll be talking about with your spoilers. Obviously no spoilers in that brief sentence. Skip one line, type the word spoilers, skip six lines, type out your spoiler comment. And what everyone's going to see is your very brief sentence in quotes, addressing what your spoilers will be about. Obviously no spoilers there. They'll see the word spoilers and then they'll see this little thing that says read more. If they click it, they can see spoilers if they don't click it they won't get spoiled and as always if you enjoyed the video then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one i do anime episode reactions as well as manhwa reactions and reviews on anime and manga when i catch up to or finish a series that i really enjoy so if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in 
then please do subscribe to the channel. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.